Georgia's restrictive abortion law is now officially in effect. This morning, reaction is coming in and opponents say the fight is not over. Yeah, the legislation outlaws abortions for women across the state when a heartbeat is detected, which is around six weeks. I love it lies Molly Oak. She's joining us live from outside the state capitol. So Molly, we expected this decision would come soon after Roe was overturned. Supporters celebrating people against it, making a strategy for what's next. Yeah, experts saying the fight's going to come from both sides. Don't be surprised if we see it taken into the state courts. We're going to dive into that in just a little bit. But first, let's give you some background. The Georgia State uh, General Attorney says that this should be taking effect right now. Now, this law, law was signed into law by Governor Brian Kemp in 2019, but it had been blocked after several women's health centers filed suit. Now, on the same day the Supreme Court's decision on Roe versus Wade came down, the 11th Circuit Court of Appeals directed those tied up in the lawsuit to make their argument on how the new ruling would impact their appeal. Now, after considering the arguments on both sides, the law will take effect. Georgia State University law professor Anthony Michael Kreese says he expects abortion rights advocates will file a new lawsuit, but in the state courts this time. Alleging that the Georgia state constitution uh, protects the right to an abortion greater than what the Life Act otherwise provides, and will ask the state courts to temporarily and then permanently enjoin the state from enforcing. So not only are folks looking at the state court challenges, but also all eyes on November elections. We'll break that down in the next half hour, guys. All right, thank you, Molly.